Oh, dear me, finally. So, yeah, what has it been? Three days. I've been at that hotel in that tiny little town, which there is not a huge amount to do, because it is essentially a tourist town with a beach, hotels, and a few restaurants and then a handful of uh, supermarkets. A handful of supermarkets and some rental places and uh, excursions and whatnot. So yeah, not a huge amount to do in that town. But supposedly they've cleared this field down here now, so I can drive in. There's that big bit that sticks out. But, what I think's happening is uh, drive down into the villa, turn around, drop the trailer somewhere, and then I'm running back solo, I think. Where anyway? But, uh, yeah, where this car is parked up is where I had reversed to the other day. And we'll see what goes on this time. Yeah, okay. A bit of dust, close the windows. Yeah, this was not clear at all when I came here the other day, so they've they've lifted a huge area out. Theory, that's why they want it. There we go. Trailer's dropped. So that's going to stay on site now from whatever it is, 21st of August till sometime in September. I just need to come back around. And uh, put my mud flaps on the back. Now, I wish I'd video down here now, because that's a big area that's been cleared that wasn't there the other day. It was all this, like, bamboo type stuff. So, oh well. Right, I'm going to grab my mud guards, stick them on, so that I'm legal whilst running solo. Uh, and then it's going to be a speed run back to base. I've got to get ferry tonight, ferry tomorrow, and then drive back up to uh, back to base in the UK, basically.
Right, the plan now. The ferry from Harnia back to Athens is an open return, so that's all good. It goes 10 o'clock tonight. It's now quarter past three. Um, ferry to Ancona was pushed back today because it was originally the 21st, which is today. It's now the 22nd. So once I get off the boat in Athens, hoon it across to Patras, see if we can fill the truck up somewhere. All that sign, car names with them, keys with them. Hotel key, I'm gonna drop off at Georgiopolis and do some shopping because it's been three days and all the stuff in my fridge is looking a little bit worse for wear. So I'm gonna pull back in this lay by where the truck's been dumped the last few days. Go through the fridge, throw out all the nasty stuff. Also bonus, because I'm solo, I can get out this way now, the angle doesn't matter. So I don't have to uh, worry too much about uh, too much about the tree anymore. I can't see that's the problem. <laughs> yeah, sort out the fridge, sort out my bag, change into some clean stuff because I was there for a lot longer than I thought. That motorcyclist ain't gonna get here in time on the way. I'm in. So I use these bins here. Throw out all my rancid stuff. Wait for the boss to get back to me just to confirm that everything is okay. So I know you should be bringing that trailer back. Oops, it's too late. Let's have a little look see through here. Ooh, you've seen better days, that's for sure. Twelfth of the night, okay, you're good. Don't know about those. Bread. Looks all right. I've had it for quite a while now. Oh, there's a bit of fluff on the bottom there. Okay, that, that can go. Okay. Apples, they're still sealed. Generally last a couple of weeks easy with no problems. Oh, the rest looks okay. So I've heard from the boss. He says everything's all right. Cool. Off we go then. Solo back to the UK. Nice, fuel-efficient, bouncy trip. But finally, after three days, back on the road. I would much rather be cooped up in a truck than a hotel room, that's for sure. At least the scenery changes. The sea is looking very nice today. Where is the bar? It is. Park up here. Uh, yeah, I can't get out. Dicker on break and we'll go shopping. So it's quarter to five. The ferry's the same as on the way out here, 10 o'clock, so you need to be there at eight. Then drive to the port, check in, pay this final lot. Get rid of the last of this cash that I've been guarding for days now. Once we've checked in, it's the same as before. Clock off in the port, put it on ferry mode. And then get our 11 hours in that way. Right, nice easy little cruise back. Have a look what's going on in this uh, in this port. The Anak Lines ticket office is, uh, and if there's a way scale that I need to get on, even though it's kind of pointless being solo, but uh, rules is rules. It looks like the ticket office is straight in front of us. Or is that a 
that trailer. Possibly the ticket office, I'm not sure. Oh no, there it is. Right up there. Now entering the trolley area, special request, please go right. Where do the trucks park? Now this is a ramp here. And I think this ramp here is the one that we came off. Yeah, came off here, out that gate and away. There isn't really anywhere that's clearly identifiable as a truck waiting area, so... Oh well, we'll ask here. So what I got, receipt and everything as before. Pre-boarding health declaration that I have to fill in before getting on. If I didn't have Covid before getting on to the island, where would I have it getting off? Um, but she says the ferry will be here at 7.30. Is that it? No, that's me knowing. Uh, on this bit here, like it was the other day. And then she also said where I'm parked now is perfectly acceptable. But, right now I'm facing towards the sun, so what I will do is at least turn around and then park back here but just facing the other way. So the ferry should appear right in front of me here to Minoan. I'm getting Minoan tomorrow so it might be the one that I'm familiar with. As I've said before, the bus is using Minoan all the time. And it was always the same ferry, so I'm going to assume it was the same one going back. There we'll do. Cool. End country, Greece. Back out, entry, vehicle, ferry train. Cool. Hmm. Ferry is already here. It's only just gone six o'clock. So I've barely clocked off half an hour. The ferry's gonna sit here for four hours. Okay. Right, the number of cars is starting to thin out. Go around and join the queue and see if I can get on. It's quite a nice looking town, Suda. If only I could have stayed here, but oh well. <clears throat> so 2119 is when we started moving. Sorry? Okay, all good, thanks.
good, yeah. on so minutes. Back on brake. Uh, entry vehicle ferry train. I think we're good. Switch your cameras off and I'll see you in the morning. got me and then I'll be back on track where I was expecting to be Don't work too well when you ain't got a trailer on. Oh, only five euro thirty. Okay. One, two, three, four, six. No, is there a, a reduced? night rate or something. It doesn't kick in until rush hour in the morning or something. No idea, it's 7.33 so if it was the UK any sort of night rate would have long expired by now. There's a parking area, we're pulling here. I've just realised as well it's Sunday today so maybe it's a, a weekend rate or something. good parking area is it? Uh, oh well. Pull over as far as we can. Uh, there we go. Have breakfast I suppose. Stick it on break even though we ain't done nothing.
Ah, no, I was charged as a rigid, not an arctic. Ah, cool. Cool, because I don't have a trailer on it. Yeah, I forgot about that. So, yeah, technically, I'm a rigid, aren't I? Cool. Cool. All my tolls are going to be cheaper then. 24% VAT. Come on. Well, after an unnecessarily long break, for no particular reason other than I can, time to go. <coughs> Whenever there's a gap. When you don't have a trailer on, you get up to speed almost immediately. There's Patras. The motorway kind of overlooks the whole town and city. See the port over there, there's a boat pulling in or just leaving. One of those. Another area that looks like it's burnt down in the last previous years or so. get all over the place. All that smoke from the other day wasn't there today. So I don't know if the fire's put itself out or they've managed to get control of it and put it out themselves. Fuel level low. Don't worry, I am looking for a station. When we eventually get green light. DKV truck stop. What are we? 134. That's better than motorway prices. Official partner of DKV. If they don't accept DKV here, then there's a problem. Diesel 8, add blue 10. No, don't need add blue, got loads of that. Still got three quarters of a tank. And there we go, the second and last time this trip that I will be filling up. I was a bit concerned for a second, I gave her the card and she stared blankly at it for a second. Oh, DKV, okay. <laughs> honking there, whether it was the truck or the car behind me. It's... Oh well. I'm also not sure if I really need to weigh myself since I'm literally just a solo tractor unit, but uh, probably better to be safe than sorry. Mandatory weighing for all trucks over one and a half tons. Okay, there we go. Is there no entry to the right. Oh. They 
they're both showing green lights. <laughs> it asks for a card, but I don't have the right card apparently. idea how that works. KW Walter trailers abandoned in the port. Okay. So where's checking? I'll have a look around and ask about the way ticket because I could not get it to work. Weighing is mandatory, but then they make it impossible to get a ticket, so. Um, much like coming into Greece, you'd have to fill in a passenger locator form for going back. To Italy. I think you have to do one for the UK as well. But yeah, you're given a lot more stuff here. Um, but yeah, I think I need to go out round to the left, back up into that check-in area up the top. What they'll say when, where, how and why, I've no idea. Whether they'll tell me where to park or not, like Ancona, I've no idea. I'm expecting them to say nothing. Uh, what are we stuck on? A drain or something? A dip? Number two, yep. It's most thorough security inspection. Definitely would not be able to smuggle anything that way. Well, I'm in, but who knows where I'm parking. I don't know, I'll just pick a place randomly to park and then wait till the boat turns up. I don't know, that might be, might be what I do. There's a small collection of trucks around here. 
There's a couple down here. So I don't know if they know something. There's a number of trucks congregating in this area. And then all them cars as well. So maybe this berth right in front of us is going to be the Minoan one. No idea. But some people seem to be in the know, so... got a little bit of movement, but no one's letting me out now. There we go. Join the trucks, really. Not the cars. Send in the dog round again. Yeah, there's uh, someone was blowing off their horns, and then a couple of young guys stopped, started running down between the trucks at quite a pace. So I don't know if someone had some uh, stowaways on board. Where they are now, I don't know. But, uh, dog doesn't look like it's particularly paying any sort of attention or doing its job particularly well. It's been very long and painful, but we are getting there slowly. Upstairs, okay. Forgot to change over. Yeah, for a minute there, I thought I was going to be the last one on, but not quite. Pretty rammed. Uh, ferry's due in at 3.30, but that was a six o'clock departure, and we're not that. So it could be as late as five o'clock arrival, unless they put the throttle down overnight. I don't know, we'll find out tomorrow. But by the looks of the itinerary, it's a straight shot to Ancona, so there's not gonna be, uh, not gonna be anything interesting to watch. No intermediate stops, so I won't bother taking the camera up. I will just see you in the morning. But uh, I think they're trying to make room for me to turn around so I don't have to reverse off. 
Monday, 23rd. Yeah, I need all three lanes really to turn around. They tried to turn me around yesterday with two and it wasn't happening. It's not quite wide enough. one of the first trucks off which is a little bit annoying so I was hoping to follow someone else and uh, find out what's the correct way to get out of this place oh well oh there's a truck there's another truck perfect oh, has it stopped raining it's wet but it's, uh, it's stopped raining at least Once we're out of here, it's a nice straight shot back to the UK, apart from the Channel Ferry, but that's easy enough. Uh, I hope to get back by end of play Wednesday. It's now Monday, 5.45. So I've got six and a quarter hours to uh, get as close to the tunnel as possible or through it. It seems you're coming this way then. Go for the motorway. Have to get to the port. Okay. I'm guessing you turn off at the town before. And then take to the back roads and come along this way, along the coast. Okay, well at least we know for next time now, rather than going around all those back roads out there. Crazy, all over the place route. So this looks like it's the official way into the port. It's a very long roundabout way of getting to it. It's nowhere near as direct as that other way that I was, uh, that I was coming in, but uh, I imagine they'd uh, be particularly happy with a truck driving through the middle of town, so this has to be the official way in, I suppose. Bologna, A14, straight over, cool. Can't turn left, 7.5 tonnes, 3.8 metres. It's too low for me, and too light. Telepass. We get one beep or two today. There's the one. Two. Bologna to the right. The way we go. Well, this is throwing a bit of a spanner in the works, isn't it? not going to be smashing out as much uh, mileage as I thought I would be. Yeah, it's all good, just shy of a hundred miles and now it's all suddenly come to a halt. I can only assume that it's an accident of some sort that's uh, caused this. So you don't get many traffic jams once you leave the UK. I don't know what that traffic was about really, but uh, yeah, a bit stop start, stop start, off it went, slowed back down again. 
carried on all the way up to Bologna. There's about two or three motorways that come together and then as everyone peeled off and went their separate ways it just sort of suddenly cleared up and it was all good to go and at uh, full speed. We're what, four hours and ten minutes of driving, almost just shy. Rest area. Not anywhere near as um, Milan as I would have liked. Pretty much every rest stop I've been past looks like this. It's that rammed. Even parking for a tractor unit could be a bit of trouble. Just have to be cheeky and have a break on the on a petrol pump. There's not many other spaces really. Even the car park's filling up with trucks. There we go. Sticker on brake. Ten o'clock. So that takes up three quarters of an hour of my time. And that gives me an hour and 15 minutes to get a bit further up the road. There we go. Just over six hours of driving. Just gone quarter to one in the morning. And where is there to park? Not many places. A cheeky unofficial place there if needs be. Any unofficial spots that I can grab. Or an official one maybe. Not easy for trucks to get around within park there, that's the problem. Could I get around that? get past me either. Cool. Lights off. Clock off. Da, da, da. Entry, driver one, end country, I for Italy. Cool, there we go. Nine hours off. Can start ten to ten in the morning. Lovely. Change the clock on that because it's still on Greek time. Uh, apart from that, that's it, I think. Yeah, finish up the last few bits, go to bed. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, a bit later than I was uh, originally planning. Uh, 56 minutes <laughs> I've been clocked on for. But uh, I wanted to sort out the cameras because it's been three days of recording and I haven't sorted out all the footage and it's piling up quite badly. Just sorting out the laptop over there, finishing off because uh, the hard drive has run out of space because I've still got all the millions of motorbike videos on there and this two week trip. So that's run out of space. I'm making more space on that and then sorting out all the other videos. I've also discovered this morning I've got a bulb out. <clears throat> I've got an R5W up in the spare bulb kit but it's the wrong connector type it's a two prong and this is a one and in the shop here they've got the bulbs and the right connectors but it's the wrong what uh, not wattage voltage it's 12 volts and not 24 which is what the truck needs so I'll have to find one somewhere else at some point a little bit late, but I am a solo tractor unit, I can pretty much park anywhere, squeeze in somewhere, and surprisingly there is a lot of trucks here still this morning. I've got the payment card out for the tunnel, that's our main task for today, and then just crack on as far as possible. I want to try and get as close to Reams if I can, Reams rhymes. And then that'll mean that 
uh, Wednesday is easily doable, then I'll get back to the depot by the end of play Wednesday. And uh, let's see what the boss says after that. Whether I have to do another day's work in this truck before having a 24 off, or if I can just uh, move straight across into my truck and then just faff about, sort myself out, and then have a long weekend or whatnot. Who knows? We'll find out as we go. The scenery is gorgeous. It's completely flat most of it and then just massive mountains appear out of nowhere. I think the views coming from Italy are much better than coming from France. Last toll booth in Italy. And then it's the control area right after this. Except I'm not working apparently. Why not? Uh, telepass. Yeah, telepass. Uh, it's, I've come from Milan. Yeah. system seemed to have forgot yesterday that I passed through the toll booth in Milan. Uh, where are we? Access. What's it? So as soon as you go through there, straight into the control booth. TIR bus. Don't want the services. It's a little bit different. There's a speed ramp there. We'll stop here for a moment and I'll sort everything out because it's all gone flying. Ah, it's all going wrong today. First the old go box doesn't work. Then stuff goes flying everywhere. I think we're all sorted. Right. These guys go first. Follow these, follow the green light. Yeah, there weren't no speed bumps on the French side. 15 and 16 are open. Same kind of thing, they've got a load of lanes up there if there's a load of traffic or something up on the mountain. And then you come to this booth at the very end, pick up your little card thing again I assume. Yeah, it seems to be working now. Dunno, must have been a loose connection or something. system. Press the select, it done it on its own, spat a ticket out. Barriers open, I assume that's it, good to go. I assume that's good to go. I 
the system's a little bit different on the way back through. There's Auto Porto again on the left. There's the gates up the top there. That's Mont Blanc in front of us. million tunnels and 4,000 feet later we are here the layout's going to be slightly different again a bit like the control area back there thermographic control I think they mean thermographic Shut, right side oh right side open. I should get charged as a rigid, which will be cheaper than an Arctic. We'll join the left side then since it's moving. Class three, I'm a rigid. Squeeze through. Okay, fridges are leaving one by one. I think they're going through. The French side seems to be organized a little bit better, I think. Unless I just didn't hit the French side when there was traffic, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that you went through the thermographic bit and then it split into the fridges and everyone else, and then you paid and queued up and went through. So it lets the truck through first, puts the barrier down, and then gives us the green light to move up. Barrier, please wait until it's your turn. That was around 30 seconds, I think. No cars? Cool. Yeah. The entrance is not quite as cool either. Where the barriers will park you right in front of the tunnel. sat there waiting to run into the tunnel. But we're in and we're away and off we go. just as we leave the tunnel. That is quite the queue going the other way as well. Many hours later. Air de Rennes. Champagne. I think this is the last services before Rheims. Rheims, Rennes, Rheims. 
put in here, call it a day, 9 hours and 34 minutes of drive time so far. More annoyingly, just shy of 500 miles. I'm going to be on about 496 by the time I pull in here. I will crack 500 one day. Busy again. Hmm. Is this a space? It's enough of one. I'll take it. Cool. 496.4 miles. 22.34. Rest break. Entry, driver one, end the country. France, F. Entry stored, cool. But we are just outside Rhymes, so it'll be Less than four and a half hours of driving will get us to Calais, and then less than four and a half hours will get us back to base. So I will be back tomorrow. That's a pretty good day today, I think. So yeah, call it a night. And yeah, last day tomorrow, the big push. Get back to the UK, back to base. Uh, and then I don't know if I'll be doing anything Thursday. We'll see. Morning finish getting sorted and then uh, try and work our way around these two. I'm surprised they're still parked here. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll work our way around them and then uh, get back on the road and start uh, making our way towards Calais which is how far away? Not that far. Three hours probably, max. It's almost empty. It's just <coughs> bad luck has led me to park near the two people that uh, parked here longer than I have. And away we go. ADR symbol you don't see very often. Class 7, radioactive. There's nuclear material. Does it say what's in it? Can't make out the words. They've redesigned this a bit. That's opened up quite wide now. I don't think it ever used to be four lanes wide. Trucks right hand side. When it eventually opens, cars and that on the left hand side. So when it's ready, will it run off up that way to the right now, will it I suppose? It's gonna be the new the new check-in area for trucks or something. Yeah this is the old bit. It's quite a queue of trucks. Last time I came down here with S and K, you sort of did a little wiggle like this and looped back round on yourself and straight in on the back of that queue. 
all of this stuff here in front of us, this holding area, that never existed. That's all new. Customs clearances, not for me. Lane 8 is the only one that's open. Well, this is certainly different. we go. Just about got 15 minutes in. Again, another gantry. You know, Irish ferry, DFDS, hard-sided. <laughs> that top bit says my ferry link. They haven't existed for a few years now. I think they took over from someone else that pulled out as well. There's been told to go to lane 5. lane will I get? Lane number five. It is the quick curtain cider x-ray machine. Excellent. Get to skip all of these um, fridge queues then. Automatic weighing area. Respect for the signage. Curtain side of one, as I said, dynamic um, x ray. You drive through, your weight on the other side. Not so happy with the picture. It goes green, and away you go. Meanwhile, the sheds to the left, you drive in, you stop, you get out, they shut the doors, lock it all down to make sure the radiation can't escape. Because it's a much more powerful beam. Ray the machine, and then you climb in, and away you go. No way, scale or nothing. Okay, cool. I didn't even have to stop. Didn't even have to stop. I'll turn it last. Check-in process seems a bit slow. Hello. Uh, hi there. Your passport? Uh, I'm empty. I've got no trailer. Merci. easy enough. Once you realised I didn't have a trailer. <laughs> Where's your CMRA MRN? Don't have one. <laughs> Go behind this guy. UK border control. Clock me out. What fair enough? 1500. Border control, quick. Punch me out. Stop the clock. Is that? That's Duvra. There we go. You got that very much? Just yourself? Yeah? Uh, just me, yeah. Yeah, that's what you said.
Yep, thanks. See ya. I've been pulled for inspection, probably not with two vehicles already stacked up. So we'll keep going this way, unless I see someone flag me down. Well, that would be insane to pull me over, because I literally don't have a load. There we go, we're through! Believe that 1500 ferry. This is what happens when you have an open account and you just rock up and get whatever ferry. Uh, you just get booked on the first available ferry that they'll think you'll fit on. So you can potentially sometimes end up waiting quite a while. One, two, four. Over here. Yeah, I didn't see the way you got into the customs area. Please turn your engine off. Well, it's not 30 odd degrees, so I don't need to worry about that. Yeah, where was the customs area then? Because if I come back with that load, I need to stop at customs to, uh, to get the car nay stamped. as long as I thought it was going to be, because it's now 20 to 2 on the clock. In reality, it's 20 to 3. Bonjour. Thank okay, thanks. Thank you. Merci. Au revoir. Da -da -da. This is the bottom. Go to the front, yes. Well, I'm at the front, but I'm not quite in front of the door. A bit like the other time. Is there a post? No, there's a cone down there. Go too far forward because I won't able to swing across enough. There we go, that'll do. Oh, one step from home. Hey, you're back in the UK. Quarter to four, UK time, don't forget to change your clock back. What are we on so far? 2,417 and a half miles since I started this trip. You probably add another thousand miles onto that with ferries. 61 hours and 39 minutes of driving, average speed 39.1 miles an hour. 209.7 gallons of fuel were used. Average fuel, 11 and a half miles to the gallon. Internal hatch is opening. External's done as well, yeah. Nice. 
Oh, 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 movement, movement. Top deck ones are still up there. The mats aren't very good. Look at them. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now, will I be allowed out? Or I just jump in front before he manages to get there. Kind sir. Now remember, drive on the left. We're in the UK now. It's a bit of a bump. It's a bit of a queue trying to get in. First time I've seen that happen. You always just used to drive straight through. Yeah, green light, green light, yeah. Okay. Yeah, buses go through that way. off to the left where you can see that van going. I think if I remember correctly I might be wrong. Customs I should get waved through surely. This takes us round the back of the roundabout and then kicks us out a bit further down so you don't have to bother with the roundabout. If you went the other way on the A2 you'd come out over there. I would say where that truck is but you wouldn't be able to see it. And then you can hook a left and go up that ramp or straight over if you went the wrong way and you'd come out where these cars are. That's it. We're in Dover in the UK. Driving on the left. So this is the Motis roundabout if you remember. Go off up there and that's where you'd uh, close the ATA car name if I had a trailer that needed it. That's it. UK to Greece and back again. Really much more to it. As I've said, UK is the UK, it's not that exciting. Um, so until next time, see you then!